Well, I mean, it looks like we gotta pull the bell over here. Oh, here we go. You just can't pull it. What is this, then? Uh, huh. I guess I'll just hit it. Okay. Interesting dungeon mechanic, I suppose. Ah, it's looking like it's looking like a boomerang type of dungeon. These torches here. I don't think we want to push this into the water, do we? Unless maybe it floats. Let's see. Aha! It does. Oh, uh, you know what? That that's actually like low-key super smart game design they put this here on purpose just so you would use this on it and then see that you get pushed whenever you um use this okay what's the dungeon item ah oh, it is the boomerang tough all right all right guys welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are having a wonderful day if you're not i pray your day gets better last episode of spirit tracks here we left off so <clears throat> let me pull up the old map here so i can show you all what i'm talking about um we restored power to the rail map here so now we have access to all of this area up top previously it was just down here right now we have access to the rest of that and in the top left there is where our boy, I think his name is Steam, is located. But we can't get to him because up there, up in this area, is kind of like a Lost Woods thing. So we're going to head over here to talk to some guy here that has information about how to get through there for us. Alright. Sounds like it's worth paying this Ferris a visit. Honcho said that we could find him in the plains to the east. I am ready to go. Let's do it. Alright. <clears throat> oh man. I didn't get did the get the chance to upload yesterday, but uh dude I was completely drained yesterday. Ooh, what way would it be? Maybe like up through here? I don't know. We'll we'll just swing it. Um but man, I, I was I totally intended to record this video yesterday and have it uploaded yesterday, but I was just completely drained. Yeah, you couldn't get me to do anything yesterday. It just was not a good time. My sl my sleep was terrible too. But um, hopefully I could uh, you know, maybe I could up go three more days at least without skipping another upload. You know, that'd be awesome. But let's see here. I haven't even been over here yet. Yeah, that definitely looks like a rocky biome. We, we I speculated um, based on the like rabbit enclosure place that like each of the four biomes what they were going to be based on the way it was laid out. Um, looks like I'm right. So that looks like a kind of like mountain rock biome, and then the bottom right is probably going to be like a, a beach, which is really cool. So, hi, well. Is it just gonna be Gorons up there again? Probably gonna be Gorons living up there, huh? huh. What, was, what was the point of this? Okay. Oh, you know what? That's probably a... Uh... Whoa, chill. Probably just a loading zone. Um, To load the rest of this area. That That's probably the purpose of that, huh? Yeah. Probably wouldn't be smart to have too much loaded on the old DS, you know? Okay. Getting close to old Ferris. Oh, is this it? Okay. We'll go ahead and slow down then. We really came across like no snow rabbits, huh? Which I didn't look explicitly for them, I guess, but... Huh. Ah, yes, perfect. Okay. Is this where our boy Ferris is, huh? Wellspring Station. No, this looks like a fishing mini game, huh? Strange. The spring is absolutely beautiful. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I guess we'll look around a little bit. See what's happening. Bunch of wolves. No, I might wolves. 
grappling. So we get the grappling hook in the game, huh? That definitely looked like the grappling hook, like straight out of Wind Waker type of style grappling hook. I mean, you get it in Phantom Hourglass too, but it's more of a hook shot. Weird. Oh? What is this? Need to get good shots of those of these hot new trains. I'll try to spot. I'll try these spots. Ah, <laughs> I see. I see. Okay. So right here, right here, and right here. So this must be where our boy Ferris is. Then might as well check out the other stuff. Locomotive musings by Ferris. You know, the, those archway gate things you see on the rails sometime. Who made them? When? And why? I was up all night pondering these questions, but I worked out a hypothesis. I think you could use them to break the space-time continuum. Cool, huh? Oh yeah? Just, just cool? <laughs> there seem to be two types of these space-time gates. I'm pretty sure you can use both of them to warp to and from places. One top has a triangle. One top has a triangle at the top of the arch, and the other doesn't. I think they work in pairs and that hitting the triangle does something. I tried throwing rocks at the gate triangle to the south of Anugi Village, but bummer of all bummers, I couldn't reach it. I guess my arm is too weak. That's why I'm starting a new push-up regiment until I can hit the darn thing. The interesting info. Is that my boy Alfonso? That is definitely Alfonso. Okay. Interesting. Oh, I guess let's go find our boy Ferris here. So I guess we, we well we know how to activate the um the warp gates, huh? Gotta hit the triangle on top of the gate to activate it. And there's one to the south of a nuki village. We'll have to we'll have to hit that. I'll I'll try to remember that for when we go by there. That guy's going to the right. So let's let's do this. Yeah. Hopefully that works. Okay. Now where in the where in the world would old homie be at? I'm, hmm. I'm sure I'll just see him on on the tracks or something, right? If he's even around here. Hmm. Doesn't look like he's up here. Tough. Oh yeah, dude. I woke up today, GTA 6's entire source code got leaked. There's like an hour worth of footage you could find. Probably by the time this goes up, it's probably like been absolutely nuked off the internet, right? But um, I watched it. I'm not going to say anything about it in, you know, because, you know, Rockstar might come after me. <laughs> but, um, I mean, the game looks promising, right? It looks... It, God, it's so hard to be vague, but uh, game looks promising, looks like GTA, you know? Everything that was being said before hand about GTA 6 seems to be pretty true. Um, uh-oh. This homie gonna turn around on us, I wonder? Well, anyways, um... Game looks really good. If you've seen the gameplay, you know. Uh, if you haven't, you could probably find it somewhere, right? But, um, you know, the bad news about that, that leak, though, is, um, because that happened, they're probably gonna have to delay the game, like, a hot two hour, not two hours, uh, two, two years at most. Just because, okay, the reason source code is so important Ah, here we go. Here's our boy. Uh, the reason it, it is so important to keep your source code protected is, especially with an online game like, um... Oi. Are you the guy? Hey. There we go. Uh, with online games like GTA, uh, they can look at the source code. Hackers can look at the source code and make cheats and hacks and stuff based on that and you know for gameplay whatever right sure um 
but that also can threaten like it can reveal information about like the the way they do peer-to-peer -peer connection to stuff and leak your like whole ip address all sorts of different shit, right so it's a security threat as well so what they're gonna have to do now is uh rebuild the game like rebuild all the code like probably just the important code right um from scratch which is why i said it's gonna be like probably two two years now but at least we got to see what the game looks like i guess <laughs> uh like back to this though oh my gosh you stopped uh so how's it rolling when i first saw you dropping the spirit train i freaked i was all like holy cow it's the spirit train say you're the guy who just became an engineer jim was it i'm ferris when it comes to trains i'm kind of an expert you know everyone else is too spooked to take their trains anyway right now but here you are driving away very interesting you just gotta tell me where you're headed temple really you're headed to the snow temple that place is impossible to get to well with the blizzard and all but i hear that the tracks linking the tower spirits to the temple are safe as in, they're protected from the storms. How cool is that? Say, maybe if you took those tracks, you might be able to reach the temple. Oh, I just remembered. I have an old map of the tracks around that area. Some parts are out of date, but the spirit tracks you're looking for are there. Oh, right, blow function up. Let's go. Yeah, here we go. Uh, Let's mark this. So, up, left, up. Oi, wait a minute. Oi, we, we totally, we totally went this path and the game just kicked us out. Am I crazy? I'm not crazy, right? This, this, nah, the game definitely scammed us. Okay, so this is like a required thing you have to do to progress, huh? How'd it go? Were you able to decipher your path? No sweat. Well, if you ever want to look at my map again, just stop by. For now, I'll be trying. I'll be here trying to catch some killer pics of the locomotives in action. Nah, this game definitely scammed me, bro. What? That's crazy, bro. We definitely tried this exact path and still got kicked out. Huh? Well, I guess it's absolutely like scripted that you have to talk to that guy then to make progress. How strange. It was very weird. Tell you what though, uh, what I can say probably without fear of getting absolutely railed by Rockstar, um, it looks like to me the game is running on Red Dead Redemption 2's engine. So graphically, like, not well, lighting wise and stuff, it, the game looks absolutely beautiful. Like, the lighting effects and stuff, it looks really good, reflection or stellar, like, you know, it, graphically it is impressive um maybe not the models and stuff you've seen the gameplay right but that's early access very early access so I, I can look past that but um don't know about the physics because um I, I never played red dead redemption 2 so i don't know how that game's physics engine works but i do know that the game looks very very pretty so that's going to be great for GTA 6. So I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be awesome. Man, the last GTA I ever played was... Uh, I played GTA 5 for maybe like... Not very long. It came out on the 360. I played it for like maybe a month. Or was it a month? I played it for like a month. Dropped it. Then it came out on the Xbox One. I played it for a month, dropped it. And that was like the last time I ever played a GTA game. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of the uh, the online of GTA 5. Like, I thought GTA 4's was just great because it was just dumb people being dumb, you know? It, it was very simple. You just go about, you kill people, blah, 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 blah. GTA 5, they like got this shit way too monetized and it's like taking itself way too serious, I think. 
I get, which to each their own, I'm sure there's way more people that enjoy that stuff than those that don't, but it's just way too overcomplicated now. Like GTA Online for me, the, the fun of it was hopping on there with your buddies, dicking around, and then getting off. But now it's like, hey guys, we gotta get together, we gotta do this heist, blah, 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 uh, casino raid, like all sorts of different shit, which I never was crazy about, but you know, to each their own, like I said. Just because I'm not a fan of it doesn't mean nobody else is, right? But. Oh, man. I really hope GTA 4 gets a, a proper remaster at some point. Not not like the Definitive Edition remaster where it's just a botched mess for money. But. Man. GTA, GTA 4 was, was fun, man. I miss that game. That, that was a really tight game. Can you imagine that game with like ray tracing or something? That'd be wicked. Yeah, now it's letting us through here just fine. Huh. Oh, what the hell? I just destroyed like the stop sign or whatever on this. Didn't know you could do that. Huh. Well. Ah, oh, these snowmen are hella aggressive. No. Die. We're gonna destroy that one too for shits and giggles. Okay. Boom. I wonder what item we're going to get in here. I'm going to say... If it's going to be an item from Phantom Air Glass, it's either going to be the boomerang or it's going to be the grappling hook. The, that, that's my guess. So this is the snow temple. Are you ready for this, Jim? Yes. Hopefully... Hopefully it's something new. I'd like to see, uh, I, I want to see the new items. I mean, this one we got right now, it's pretty damn cool. So, looking forward to these new items. Or maybe the, the items that are reused are just completely repurposed. Oh, dude, is the dungeon music reused? No. They don't got unique dungeon music. That's tough, bro. What is that? Look at that bell over there. I wonder if there's some sort of trick to it. Really? No. Oh. Alright, whatever. Well, I mean, it looks like we gotta pull the bell over here. But you can't do that, huh? Oh, wrong button. There we go. A oh, homie fell in the water. Alright. Really? Why, why, why is that? Oh, here we go. You just can't pull it. Oh, you just push it once and it slides? It? Huh. What is this, then? Uh, huh. I guess I'll just hit it. Okay. Interesting dungeon mechanic, I suppose. Ah, it's looking like it's looking like a boomerang type of dungeon. These torches here. Maybe. Maybe they just light up. Hmm. What is this? Um Really? I I can only push it. No? Oh, I can't put oh, okay. Oh damn, bro. If y'all watch the the Twilight Princess series, you know I'm I'm really dog shit at these kind of puzzles, bro. <laughs> I, hopefully they dumbed this one down, but I doubt it because this was made in the. Oh wait, no, we already did it. They did dumb this one down. Yeah, they made this one. Uh, this uh game was made in the same era as Twilight Princess, I do believe, based off of, like some of the AI and animation and stuff, and just the music. Oh. Wait, that goof? Uh oh. Wait a minute. Maybe it's not as easy as it seems. Mm, is that right? Oh, no. no, no. I, I see the solution. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Considerably easier than the, the, the snow peak. Whoops, the snow peak uh, 
block puzzle. Holy shit. Dude, dead ass. I was stuck on that. If you guys haven't watched that. Dead ass, I was stuck on that shit for... I want to say... Tw 15 minutes I was sitting there fiddling around with those blocks. Oh my god, it was bad. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, there we go. Alright, that's cool. Oh, that activated them both, huh? Alright. Alright, downstairs we go. Basement to one. I don't think we want to push this into the water, do we? Unless... Maybe it floats. Let's see. Aha! It does. Uh, you know what? That That's actually, like, low-key, super smart game design. I already kind of suspected you could use this to push yourself around. But they put this here on purpose, just so you would use this on it, and then see that you get pushed whenever you, um, use this. That, that is really intelligent game design. That, that is dope. Alright. Ah, uh, please. Hey, you can just hit these things, right? Yeah. That was, uh, that's uh, another Paula Princess enemy. Interesting. You know, now that I'm, now that I think of it, uh, this music is kind of reminiscent of, um, I want to say it's reminiscent of the Temple of Times theme in that game. Just a little bit. Got kind of like more of an upbeat kind of sound to it. Come on. Right, fine, screw you. Bastard. Alright, here we go. What is this gonna be? Probably a big green rupee, huh? No, just a red rupee, even worse. Tough. Oh well. I guess money is better than no money at all. Okay. What's up, homie? I wonder what speed runs for this game look like. Oh, did you see that? Perfect timing. Oh, I didn't even mean to kill that guy, but get get destroyed, bro. Ha! <laughs> oh, I wonder what the speed runs for this game look like. Like, what? This game doesn't seem... This one and Phantom Hourglass don't seem like the type of games that have like a crazy speedrun, right? Like, it's it doesn't seem like it'd be a very broken game. I think. Maybe I'm just completely wrong though. But I don't know. It doesn't doesn't seem like it's uh it would be a um, very broken game to me. I don't know. May maybe it is like super busted though. <laughs> no idea. I might, I might sit down, and, uh, after I beat this game, I might sit down and actually watch that just for fun. To see what, see what, it, what it's like. Okay. What's the dungeon item? Ah, oh, it is the boomerang tough. Alright. Fine, fine. Ooh, the icon is sexy. Bro, they, they went hard on the uh, UI elements for this game compared to Spirit Tracks, bro. Like, the items were so, like, ass-looking. <laughs> to put it put, put it bluntly, um, they looked like ass, but uh, they actually, like, the budget for this game went considerably up. Pretty high compared to uh, Phantom Mary Glasses. Uh, uh, what is this? I guess, hmm. Maybe we can't do that right now. Oh, did you see that? The reeds. The reeds on Big Dog right here. Oh my god, I'm nasty with it. Read the shit out of those bats. Oh man, alright. Big green. Alright, pearl necklace. Still don't know what to do with this stuff. Never found out in Phantom Hourglass. Never gonna find out in this game, probably. <laughs> you know what? It's probably a. Uh, I probably gotta take those things to uh, Castletown and give them to somebody. Is my guess. 
Okay, what's happening here? Oh, oh, I, I see now, I see now. I understand. Okay. Wait, hold on, let me, let me analyze the situation. Okay, this, no, 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 this, go, this goes back up. And then this goes like this, and then down. Whoops. And then right, and then down one more time. Boom. Bam. Bop. Bada bop boom. Ow. Perfect. All right, so now we gotta do, what was the melody is like? This one once, then that one, the bottom right one twice. Shit. Wait, maybe I could use the boomerang. Ah, perfect. Yeah, boomerang makes things a lot easier. Let me take this last drink of water here. I got one second. Okay. So we got one more of those bells left, huh? Oh. Interesting. You know, I reckon we gotta do this in a certain order, huh? Unless. Maybe it's just we just gotta do it. Do it to it. Let's just try that. Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh, okay, I see. So this one's four. Let's just get rid of all this. I see. One, two, three, four. I was actually kind of close just on accident, huh? Weird. Okay. Pretty interesting uh, that you can melt the snow. Wow, these are like actually like physical objects. Wow. Okay. Uh, we still don't got a key. I haven't found many keys. Hey, what's your deal? What was the uh song to play here? It was uh. It was that one, right? I think so. I think so. Yeah. What's up? Don't run a scam on me. Oh. Oh. No, I might. Go back to sleep. Absolute scam artist. No way. Don't tell me. Are we about to make an ice bridge? Oh, bro. That's lit. What? Uh-uh. What? That is cool. What in the world? Oh, he melts. Let me not... Nah, bro. What in the? How come Majora's Mask 3D, bro? 3D, by the way, comes out, and it's not able to make an ice like ice platforms outside of its dungeon. But in in this game, this is a thing. Well, I guess this is also in a dungeon, huh? Maybe that's not the best comparison to make. I guess the direct comparison would just be Majora's Mask on the N64 versus 3D. But still, that's ridiculous. Ow. Oh god. Bruh. I wanna melt you guys. There we go. I was wondering what that little red thing coming out of their uh coming out of them was. It's just the Octorok. They get smoked. Nope, no running. There is no escape, big dog. Okay, I reckon we could use this torch here to melt that windmill thing I noticed up there then. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's do that. Yeah. Wait, 
Did I melt it? I don't know that I melted it. I melted it. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Need to make our path back. Perfect. Let me grab this item. That can reach, right? Yeah, perfect. Awesome, awesome. Now we can go up to this peculiar looking room. Yeah, get red. Easy. Well, not much of a read, but still. I reckon we got a... Uh... Oh! Damn, my boy still can't swim, huh? Oh, it just... Damn, that's lame. Oh, bro, please! Oh! That's annoying. Okay, so we got a... I'm just going to have to get rid of these guys. Oh, hey. Nice job, Boomerang. What in the world was that? Okay. There we go. Yeah, these guys are going to be a nuisance, so. No. Okay, <laughs> that was a little bit close. Oh my lord, bro. You're kidding. Okay, whatever. This is fine. This is fine. This is not fine. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. No! Ugh. I gotta be impatient for it, though. Okay. Oh, man, this is, this is sus. Yeah, we're just gonna freeze over your little spawn point there, buddy. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Perfect. Oh, there was a chest in the top right of that room I didn't spot. Oh well. Too late now. Probably just more rupees. What is happening here? Let's see. I gotta really push that bell across this thin ass eyes. Oh my lord, that's a nightmare. That is a nightmare waiting to happen. Let me tell you. Hey, there's a switch there. Let's go down. What's down here? Floor one. Well, this just looks like an optional room. Okay, can I? It might be, it's gonna be easier just to use this, to be honest. Yeah, at least this thing I can kind of like aim properly, you know? There we go. Yeah, this is looking like a whole ass optional room, brother. Oh, no. There we go. Got your ass. Really, huh? Oh, oh, there's probably something in the, uh, in the snow. Yeah, okay. Ah, it's the next uh, song sheet. Gotcha. So, what are we looking at? So this, this, it's going to be this one coming up once, the mid one twice. Okay, yeah. it'll be easier. I'm definitely going to forget. So we're just gonna ride it like down here.
There we go. Hopefully that's enough for me to remember. Uh, I don't want to do this. And then, well, let's just do this first. Okay. I need to get this thing aligned first of all. Can you push this thing into the the water? Probably right. Let me just try not doing that. I don't even want to find out if you can. Okay. Here we go. All right, she's ready to go. Let me get the old torch here. Oh, that didn't exactly cover all that I wanted it to. There we go. Should be good. Or not. Okay. That not get covered. There we go. Perfect. Go faster, go faster. Okay, Shh. Lord. <laughs> it almost fell apart on us. And let's see, we gotta carry the flame in through here. Okay. Do that then. Interesting chest. All right, uh, how do I want to do this? Well, I just want to get it across there first, so uh, I think I'm going to worry about that first and foremost. That did not cover that how I wanted it to at all. There we go. Oh shit, oh shit, I just realized. Oh no! Oh Link, go! Oh, you're so slow! Alright, get off the thing. Bro, oh! Okay. It might be fine, it might be fine. Never mind, it's not fine. No, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Easy. Easy, easy. Yes, sir, yes, sir, got it. All right, fine. All right, please. Yup, yeah, up. All right, now we do this one, this one, this one, this one, and then this one. Perfect. Okay. Nice red rupee. Perfect. Just what I needed. Out of my way. How that man get frozen like that and still stays sentient, you know? What is this peculiar contraption here? I reckon we're gonna have to go down and figure out what this contraption is. Let's do that. I can't believe I completely missed that guy, but luckily this thing comes back to you and still has a hitbox on it. <laughs> completely missed the chew. All right, um, I can remember that. I don't, I don't need to. No need to fool around with that. Okay. Oh, really? Ah, there we go. Okay. I was wondering how that was going to work. Now I see. Didn't know you could pass it through different flames there, and it worked just fine. Oh, God. 
I'm gonna just run you into the corner, dog. Nah. Should have done it twice. I would have got him. Hey, I get smoked. Okay. What is this room's secrets, I wonder? This room is so sus looking. Is it not like the most sus looking room? So something is up with this snow. There's got to be something underneath. I just know it. I'm on my, I'm on my skeptic vibes. All right, fine. I, I will, I will allow it this once to not explore that room. I guess. Well, that actually worked. Incredible. Okay, put the old boomerang back on. I imagine we're going to have to use the boomerang for the boss fight. So. Easy peasy, man. All right, what are we looking at now? I don't need health, so. What, is it, what will this boss be? Is this gonna be like an ice and fire type of boss? Oh, there's the fire, yep. Yep, yep. Of course, of course. Yeah. Frey, Frey's, bro. Hey, this is just the guy from Fetch Maraglass, bro. It's both of well actually it's both of them like combined, but these these dudes done did the fusion dance, bro. No, like actually they got the whole You're taking way too long. They got the fusion the whole metamarese like fusion fit, bro. Even got the little bracelets. Oh shit. Don't do that. There we go. What in the world? Oh, I, I gotta use the map? Okay. Dude, I turned him into droplets, bro! Hey, yo! Well, I guess they could just do that, bro, but damn! No, that's cheating! You can't do that! No, bro! Now what do I do? Oh, God. Uh... Oh shit. Oh, I see. Smart. Yeah. Oi. But that doesn't work as good as I would I would like it to. Hey, yo, I didn't know that shit would like stay. Hey, chill. I see, I see. I like this boss. I like this boss. This is, this is a good one. This is a good one. I'm a fan. Damn, that shit is a giant AOE. Okay. A lot easier to dodge than the, uh, the fire attack. Let's see. Bro, it don't help this. This dude stays aiming ahead, bro. That's cheating. Alright, get washed. Uh, now how y'all gonna function? Do, do your thing, do your thing. Hey! There we go. Oh, come on now, that was shitty. Ah. And this boy got a lot of health, bro. Phase three. Damn, bro, you big as hell. Oh! Oh. Please. Ah, uh, now, now do the fire attack? Yes, perfect. Oh, no, you're not supposed to freeze me, though. Hey! Oh, you gotta actually, like... Oh, I didn't know that. Interesting. 
Damn, bro, chill. There we go. Damn. He, yo, he almost washed us, bro. I was sitting there like, I was like, why, why the hell am I shit not, uh, why ain't I breaking out this crystal though? Yeah, I didn't know you had to actually like do that over top of Link. I thought you could just do it anywhere. Interesting. Okay. Boom. Th this song's a banger. Big fan of this one. Yes. I love how this whole uh, soundtrack kind of sounds. Um, it's got like kind of a jungly kind of vibe to it. I'm a big fan. Okay. Yes, come on down here. I don't think I'll play time. We'll probably go ahead and do that too before I end the episode. We still got like 20 minutes left in this episode. <laughs> I'm kind of going through this game a little bit faster than I thought I, I was. Because um, usually, you know, the formula is... Um... We do a dungeon, then there's an episode leading up to the next dungeon. Then we do the dungeon, then there's an episode leading up to the next dungeon, right? Over and over and over and over. Um, you could have been frozen stiff or burned to a crisp, but you avoided both. Sorry I couldn't um, be more help than you were risking your life out there. The snow rail map has started glowing. Oh, wow. The tracks of the Terror Spirits have been restored. Ooh, wow. Um, but... What was I saying? But yeah, that's the formula where we, these games usually follow. Uh, if you play them like for about an hour, like I do. But we're kind of burning through this game so far, huh? Like, oh, yeah, yeah. it's kind of it's kind of shocking. Like we're we're doing like a dungeon every episode for the most part. Is what, what I'm trying to say here. I keep it like losing my words because I'm trying to like uh, process the dialogue that's happening on screen. Rough. Oh, what's happening? Oh, pick was tilted. I looked over at the Discord because I saw something happening. Pick was just tilted. Classic. So the, the snow is gone from here now, huh? I think we're going to beat this guy over here. So we're going to follow this path. Yeah. Pretty sure we're going to beat that, uh, that, that train coming up into our path here. Uh, if not, though, you know, we could slow down. There should not be a problem. No. Silly snowman. Ooh, maybe we, we aren't going to beat him. Oh, he's going straight? Oh, shit. We got to... No, 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 we can do this. We could, I forgot we can like change our trajectory like on the fly. That's pretty cool. I'm a fan of that. Just change course on the fly. Like imagine if you had manual control over uh, Limebeck's boat in Phantom Airglass. That'd be cool. Oi, no. Silly snowman. Tricks are for kids. Any more rabbits? No rabbits. Huh? No? Okay. We came across like four of them in the last episode and haven't seen any since. Huh. Now hopefully they don't try to pinch me here. It's looking like a pinch attack here. Oh god. That wouldn't be good. Oi! He tried- Yo, he like gonna- No, that's alright. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. I, I hope. Yeah, we are faster than this, homie. 
Are we? I don't know that we are, to be honest. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, he's definitely, like, slightly faster than us. Oh, well, we're going down here. I don't think he's going to come down here. Can you even attack these guys? I don't even know if you can. Oh, well. Damn. Power Spirits is very large. You, you wouldn't know it from the inside, but holy shit, that, that is one tall building. Okay. Very convenient that we can access the Tower Spirits from over here, too. Kill, kill. Hey, don't do that. That's no fun. Don't do that. Silly snowman. <laughs> you can destroy the signs off of that, too. Cool. Oh, here's a... Here's something. Uh, yeah, we'll take a... We'll, we'll make a nice little pit stop here. See what's up with this house in the middle of nowhere. I reckon. Strange. How did this guy even survive? Because, like, the tracks just, like, didn't exist here. Huh. Weird. Oh. It would not be a game chat video if I had my phone ringing. One second. Holy shit. Alright, so what did that say when we load in? It was the bridge worker's home, huh? Whose bridge? What bridge and whose bridge? Who are you? Say, if it isn't you again, what's shaking, pal? Ever seen that big stone arch that stands over the tracks? Makes you think, doesn't it? Who made it? For what? What a mystery. I hear the triangle-shaped thing at the top of the arch does something. But only if you hit it real hard. I don't even know what that thing is. What could it be? What? Ah, sorry for rambling. I just get excited about rad stuff. Well, that's Pharisee, huh? Oh, dude, the goat? The goat has arrived. All right, got a letter from, I didn't see who the letter was from. Let's go. Said something about opening a shop uh, in the, in a hot air balloon. What? Hot air balloon shop. Yeah, I kind of want to read that. What, what's up with that? Hot air balloon shop, by the way? Sure. Where's collection screen right here? Beetle, ah, of course. Greetings, there's a new shop in town, Beetle's Air Shop. We're having a bomb bag blowout, so keep your eyes peeled for the hot air balloon. Whenever you see me, drive up close and blow your train whistle. Hope to see you soon. What if I just shoot him out of the air? <laughs> you know, you probably can do that, and he probably, like, gets really pissed off. That'd be funny. What's up, homie? Nothing. This is my workshop, so there might be a few nails laying around. Watch out. Bro? Don't just stand there staring at me all googly-eyed. What's up, kid? You want something? Actually... Actually what? So you're trying to restore all the spirit tracks. Sounds like a lot of work. Hmm. That's a big heart you got there, little guy. Guess being an engineer isn't all red carpets and caviar, is it? Sometimes, you just gotta roll up your sleeves and put in some hard work. See, I'm a bridge worker, carpenter, and craftsman. So I know all about work. If you need a bridge, I'm your guy. I'll travel to any place that needs a bridge. It's called being a professional. That's why I expect you to restore the spirit checks like a pro too. Okay. Interesting. Man is, is a specialist in bridges. Oh my god, I got more mail. Let's go. That choo-choo was right on top of me. Let's go. The guard captain. Top of a new training regiment as as skitty giddy's a schoolgirl. Okay. I reckon we'll read that too. Uh, play don't don't smoke me as soon as I come out of this cutscene, bro. Damn it, man! <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Uh, from Russell. Hello, recruit. How's the sword training going? You should consider testing your skill against more experienced swordsmen. If you want to take your technique to the next level, stop by the training room in the castle. We're waiting for you. Okay. I wonder if that means like actual new sword techniques, like 
I don't know, like Twilight Princess top meat? Or if that means, hey man, you can def defeat these shitters and I'll give you money. Maybe that's what he means. Okay. Is there anything up here? No. Alright, well, this was a bust, but I imagine I'm gonna need, uh, need to come back here and talk to that guy later if we need a bridge because that guy is a bridge specialist bridge connoisseur you could say now let's check her out continue downwards here oh there's beetle yeah there he is back there well he's kind of going that way so tough shit i guess but Next time we see him, I guess we'll grab ourselves some bombs. Which I hope we don't need him for the, the next, you know, spirit tipple thing, but... You never know. Hey! Oi! That was actually the whole ass bobbin from TP2. What in the world? You could definitely tell this game came out around the same time. Alright. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this thing. Get in there. Uh, what's the, what what is the information on Jean Hasfris this time? If she even has anything to say to it. What's up? It appears you succeeded in restoring the second area of spirit tracks. Well done, you two. I can feel the energy flowing back into this tower. It's true, Jim isn't the only isn't one who gives up easily. I wish I could have helped, but in this form, there wasn't much I could do. It's enough that you're by Jim's side. That's all the help Jim needs. Thanks, Jim. Damn, they say the your name a lot in this game. <laughs> now, where should we go to restore the third section of Spirit Tracks? Next is the Ocean Realm. Once again, you must climb the tower and retrieve the next realm map. That's what I thought. Alright, we'll be back with it soon. Come on, let's go get it. Alright. Fair enough. Let's do it. Yeah, that was like three sentences in a row where they're like, Jim. Like, bro, I get it, bro. Damn. Up we go. What what kind of new features will will our will our Zelda Phantom get upgraded with this time, I wonder? Oh? Okay, no, that's right. Wow, it's awfully dark in here. I can't see a thing. Place this creepy might even have ghosts floating. Wait, I'm a ghost. You're not scared of me, right? I am. Don't say that. This is only a temporary thing. I wasn't like this before. Just try your best to keep us out of the dark, okay? <laughs> Just the most deadpan. Yes, I am. Oh, man. Ah, right, well, we're just gonna... Do this, I guess. Oh, can't do that. Interesting. I did see a ghost. Something akin to a ghost there. Bruh. This is, this is gonna get old fast. It's already getting kinda old. I ain't gonna cap. This looks like a bomb of a wall, if I've ever seen one. Tell me it is, though. Yes, sir. I thought so. Goron Amber. Oh, man. Terrible. Alright. Uh, where to now? That's a dead end. Okay. That's a ghost. Oh man, this this is going to be tedious work. Oh shit. What does this say? Oh my lord, of course. It's too dark to read it. No. All right. What? What do you mean you banged on the wall? Bruh. 
Okay. Do I need to do this? I don't even need to do this. I don't. Yeah. Ah ha! I see. Yeah, I get you. So I'm supposed to. So Zelda is going to kill. Oh my God! Yo, damn! That that's actually low key kind of freaky, bro. Chill. Hmm. Is he going to see me here? No. That's a wall. Okay, maybe it'd help if I a lot of this path at least, right? Yeah. There we go. Where's the where's the third one at though? No third one. Strange. Oh, that's gonna bang the wall. Tough. Go on. Oh, don't hit him again. All right, let's go. What's this bomb? You know what? I bet I could use this fire to kill these guys. Okay, unless it does that. No. All right, interesting. Oh, please. Oh, please. I don't want to light the whole way. Oh, come on. Oh, wow, man. That's annoying. Oh, oh, yo. Corporeal form. Ah, I didn't do anything. There's a ghost over there now, though. In the world. How am I going to do this? Yep, smoked him up. If I had to bet, I bet the we got to use the bomb right there. Probably, right? Let's try it. Nice job. Well, now we gotta wait. Damn it, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay, but now what? I still can't see worth a damn. Oh god, this is horrible. Th this floor is one of the floors of all time, for sure. This whole can't see anything shit is already old. Oh man. They better not make me lie all these torches, bro. That would be annoying. Lot the lonely torch in a corner of this floor where phantoms tread. Then you will see a faint lot. Okay. Fair enough. Let me get the blow function ready. Prompt and ready. Okay, this homie gonna... I wanted to blow it out! I'm sorry! No, don't do that. Ugh. Can I sun these guys by, like, doing that? No? Bruh. Okay. Uh, I'm going. Screw y'all. I'm out of here. Where's this torch? There it is. How do I- How do I blow it out? Hey! Hey! Yo! Oh. I'm dumb. We have this. <laughs> I was trying to literally use the blow function. Okay. Oh god, has this got enough fuse time? Oh yeah, I have plenty of fuse time actually. Holy shit. Hey, here we go. Perfect. Alright, let's go ahead and get ourselves a new and improved torch here.
Boom, got your ass. Let's go. Now we can actually see in the damn dark. Holy shit. I'm a torch phantom. Yeah, let's go. Ah. Uh, the real question is, uh, do we, do we gotta go back to the bottom floor though? Hmm? I don't know. Wait, can she light these? Oh, yo, that's OD. That's incredible that she can light these. All right. No, I need, I need you to go across here. I don't trust this bullshit. I didn't mean to exactly draw a path per se. Please. What is this? Is this bait? This looks like bait. This is not bait. All right, excellent. Aha. There we go. All right, let's go. Let's go. I kind of want to go back downstairs and read that sign, whatever. Boss key? Boss key? Boss key, huh? Oh, Tower Spirit's got whole bosses, huh? Boss key, Bob. Huh. Okay, we need to find the other switch first. I don't even know where the other switch is. Uh, oh god, it's gonna be like deep in here, huh? Oh, damn it, man. Here it is. Are right, you stand on that switch? I'm gonna go stand on this one. Perfect. Oh god, now what? Watch where you step, eliminate as much as you can to find the answer. Okay. Well, I heard a mouse. Is the <laughs> is the mouse the answer? Um. Hey. Nah, you're you're gonna be the one to smoke it. Oh right, wow, she is following me. Oh. What? Yeah. What is this? Illuminate as much as you can to find the answer, but what is the answer? Oh, she's on a mission. Let's go. Yeah, get his ass. Let's go. Good job. Find the answer. So this just looks like a Z, bro. Is the answer a Z? Literally a Z? Whatever, whatever it is that needs this answer. I guess we're going to find out. Uh, let's go up here. You know, it's funny how I got a sword that illuminates a lot, but, uh, it doesn't illuminate a lot. <laughs> you know? Like, well, are, they're, they're literally called Tears of Lot. They, it doesn't do much of anything in terms of lot. Besides just being, wow, really? Link, really, bro? Attack him. Besides just being, like, light colored, I guess. All right, let's draw the Z. Boom. Yeah, Z up. What's up with this? Is Zelda gonna be able to grab it? I ain't grabbing that shit. It'll electrocute me. Oh, no, bro. I gotta protect her, bro. Oh, dude. Nah, that's OD. Another one? I'll carry the key. You take care of covering me. Okay. Please. Damn. Almost got smoked, bro. I was trying to attack that homie and he didn't want to do it. There you go. We're going to need a big key to open this. Oh, that's why you got it. 
Perfect. Strange. A, bo a boss key for this, huh? I wonder if there's actually a boss or if that's just like blocking the thing. Oh, actually a boss? Question mark? Hey! <laughs> Bro, it's just this guy. What? Oh, damn it. It's gonna be hard to catch him off guard here. Damn, they're going ham. Oh my God, he, he absolutely destroyed Zelda. Oh shit, okay. So I get one attack, I guess? Okay, got his ass, let's go. I did want that life, though. Please, Link, go faster. Alright. Bodied. Let's go. Oh, ho chat. Yo. Architator question mark? For that? Ain't no way. I was getting pretty scary. Good thing I was here to help defeat him, right? Well, I mean, you're not wrong. Yes, I helped defeat a monster. Just leave it to me. Excellent. What we got here? Goron Amber. Oh my god. Bruh. Goron Amber, dog. What in the world? Here we go. That Vandom design looks sick. The, uh, the way the armor looks. That's dope. We made it to the real map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. The ocean real map. Excellent. Oh, well, good thing we know the guy that makes bridges, bro. We're going to need a bridge. <laughs> we do indeed need a few bridges. Excellent. Just met a guy that can make bridges and we need him already. This is just getting easier every time, don't you think? Well, should we try for the next real map? Wait, we can go to the, straight to the next one, bro? Huh, wait, let's go. And that's the attitude of a true hero. Thing is, the way to the next level is blocked off, so we can't go on. Come on, let's go back and talk to Anji. Okay. So it, it was just, it was just no and no were the answers. <laughs> okay. All right, let's talk to Anji. What, what you got to say, Anji? I see you've retrieved the third realm map. Now you can go to the ocean realm. The guardian of that realm is a locomo named Carbon. Find him and ask him to open the route to the ocean temple. You can reach the ocean realm by way of the forest realm. The river in the southeast divides the two realms, but there is a bridge here. You could use it to cross over to the ocean realm. All right. Hey, yo, we're just going straight into business? No, 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 no. Chill, 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 chill. Ah, Link, we gotta go back, homie. I ain't ready to go yet. Oh. I guess we're going to do our uh, the outro on the move here. Guys, if you like the video, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. It really helps the algorithm and in turn brings new people to the channel. And if you really liked the video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you subscribed. I try my best to upload every day at 9 a.m. EDT, so don't miss it. But uh next episode i guess we'll go to the ocean realm and maybe even start the dungeon there we'll we'll see we'll see we'll see but uh anyways guys that's all for me today i'll see you guys in the next episode and peace